quality top tier shedding test where where does it shed <laughs> coming back to you guys with another hair review i know this right obviously <laughs> i wasn't looking like this before but now i'm looking like a snack i know this right okay so this video is sponsored by hair spells on instagram please make sure that you follow them do nice things for them so i'm wearing a 20 inch brazilian wig highlighted it is kelly and it is a full frontal wig. Please make sure that you subscribe, like, and comment for more amazing content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I am enjoying filming it. Yeah, but anyways, let's get into the video. <laughs> as you can see oh it comes pre-plugged baby but I can see it so the only thing I'm not happy about with this hair I have to say that it didn't come properly packaged that is because I only got the accessories that they gave me is a hairpin only I did not get a cap, so now I'm gonna use the wig cap that I have from my previous um, video. They gave me extra um, wig caps, but yeah. Besides that, I feel like it's good quality. Like I'm looking at it now, it's pre-plugged, and look at the ends, you guys. I wish I could show you properly if I had a Canon, but look, look at the ends. You can do a lot with this wig best believe that to use my revlon foundation yep i'm gonna use my revlon foundation just to blend it here so that it doesn't show that it's like a wig wig but yeah <laughs> Where? 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 Huh? Where? It doesn't shed. I 
I know a lot of people use like the glue, the one from Take A Lot. I'm just very scared to use it because I feel like it's gonna chow my hairline and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna go on with this one. Yay! I'm gonna go on with this Got To Be Glued and I'm just gonna spray it down. That should be... Someone is burning food somewhere. it was 20 rands like i won't even lie to you guys like i feel like there's no need for you to buy expensive scissors when like it, it just does the same job the only thing that you can buy you might that you might find expensive a foundation but besides that i'm a brush and other things you can just get them from emma Kuleni. i don't know other people go to china more i've never been there before but i would also like to go one day hopefully after my exams Oh yeah let's go on and cut the lace guys so i normally just start from the middle why because i feel like yo i need to come closer to the mirror i start i cut it in the middle like this so i have two parts and then i go over one part and then i go over the other part and then i cut oh wait i was supposed to cut this part first see the ear part let's do it together i don't want to cut a lot of it that let's go. Fix on you. I don't think bad with you. I look away for you. Okay. So now after cutting the parts that I don't want, you're gonna cut your lace in a zigzag motion. When you cut your lace in a zigzag motion, it helps the lace not to show. So I feel like it's easier that way. I hope I'm close enough so you guys can see what I'm doing. Zigzag, zigzag. This hurts, this hurts, this hurts. I need a cotton pad. The glue is stuck on the lace and it hurts so bad. This is a transparent video. Mini is transparent. She tells you about her challenges. She doesn't just show you like the perfect looks and everything. We just use rubbing alcohol and you rub it all off the part that you don't want it to be on. And then you continue with the process because the show must go on. So I'm gonna test it now. Hopefully it's heated enough. 
Ooh, I like this whole cover thing that's going on here. So you can use it in different angles and different shades. But I'm going to use it like this. Uh, it doesn't have different levels, but it's fine. We'll make this work. And yeah, so I'm going to use my hot comb. For now, I'm just going to plug it and leave it on so it can get like heated up whilst i do other things okay so i know that you guys can still see like the lace a little bit i'll blend it after i'm done with the whole process right so now i'm gonna use my forehead is full of the glue i can literally feel it so i'm gonna use my rubbing alcohol and i'll just wipe it if you don't have rubbing alcohol i promise you buy a hand sanitizer it works wonders as well so that's what I'm going to do. It's hot. Okay. Take a lot. We see you. Yeah. I put it on full bar. In the meantime, I'm going to use the got to be glue. I want this part, like the front part, I want it to be flat, as flat as possible. So I'm just gonna comb it. Oh, this thing is hot, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna use my mousse. I don't wanna use a got to be because it makes it too, like, too tight. I used it last time and it was too tight, literally, and I didn't like it. So I'm gonna use my mousse. Okay guys, so now I'm going over and I'm putting foundation on this lace because I feel like it's a bit lighter for my skin. So yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of it so that it doesn't show. And yeah, don't worry, it's going to come out nice. I know what I'm doing! sectioned but you won't really even tell because right right okay so i'm gonna go in with my mousse one more time go and do it all over my hair so that gives me that smooth um look 
guys the sun is going down oh my goodness this hair is top notch i love it so much i'm not gonna sell it hopefully i don't more more reviews with this um hair company y'all this hair when i say this hair is amazing i mean it okay like don't you ever play with them hey hey dimos who else but me child i can't believe i pulled this off like <laughs> i should be an, an expert you know like when you do something like over and over again you end up knowing how to do it so don't you ever tell yourself that you can't do something because you can't be anything that you want to be in this world i am a living testimony of that because 13 year old me would have never thought i'd do wig reviews and kill them like this 13 year old me would have never thought that i'd be where i am in life yes it's not a lot but it's something 13 year old me would never would have never thought that i'd be at wits pursuing a degree <laughs> don't play with me i want to quickly do this and go take pictures if they come out nice i'll attach them on the side so you guys can see as well but this is my final look tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below and the fact that i have my natural hair like um, it's not plated underneath just shows the authenticity of this hair because it's not even bumpy like that you know don't play with them don't play with them i tried to put foundation here it looks good i think see the importance of putting foundation on top of your on top of your wig cap you can't like the line is not is the same as my skin color i meant to say we are done we are done honey